All right, my friends, welcome back to our theater or drama video lessons. The first thing we're going to talk about today is a reminder of our definition of acting, what is acting, and a reminder about the tools of the actor. So first of all, Miss Caitlin says that acting is pretending to be someone or something else in a believable way. Acting is pretending to be someone or something else in a believable way. And then of course, our tools of the actor are, well, let's think about it. What are our tools of the actor? There are five of them that we talk about every day when you sign your contracts. Let's think, what are the five tools of the actor? Body, voice, imagination, concentration, and cooperation. Now, remember a long time ago we talked about within our body, we have tools as well. When we use our body to act or perform, we have our facial expressions that show emotion. We have our body language and we have gestures. So remember facial expressions show emotion and our gestures are movements that have meaning. What does this gesture mean? What does this gesture mean? What does this gesture mean? Exactly. Now show me a gesture. Show me another gesture that Miss Caitlin didn't show you right now. Exactly. And our body language can communicate emotion. Now, like what, what emotion do you think Miss Caitlin is showing you right now? Did I look a little mad? So now show me a different emotion with your face and body language. Now I want you to practice using your body to show different emotions. Walk around your house or your yard or your room, wherever you want, showing at least five different emotions. You can walk like you're happy. You can walk like you're sad. You can walk like you're angry. You can walk like you're tired. You can act like you're scared. Move around your space using your body to show what emotion. All right, my friends, I miss you so much and I hope we're back at school soon. Bye.